Hey people, Fernando doing another video for the Modern Survivalist and in this case addressing a question that I got through Instagram and I've got similar questions uh, regarding this topic. It's gonna be about shotguns, chokes, what is it, what does it do and is it safe to fire slugs through a full choke shotgun barrel. First of all, what is a choke? Well, a choke, like the name implies, is a narrowing of the internal walls of the barrel of the shotgun the closer you get to the end of it. So some of these are fixed to the barrel itself. The barrel itself is getting narrower as you get close to the end of the barrel. And some of these are removable, so they just screw in place. You can remove them and replace them with different chokes. You have different varieties of chokes usually you will have these four which are the more common. A cylinder choke basically means that the walls are not reducing in diameter all the length of the barrel. Improved choke is a little bit of a narrowing of the barrel when you're close to the end and modified is a little bit more and a full choke would be like the narrowest that it gets. Uh, you have some exceptions. I think you're, you have like a super full choke or extra full choke, but basically these four are the more typical ones. Now, in a combination shotgun, such as um, the one you could have is similar to this double barrel shotguns, you probably will have one that is cylinder and one that is full or one that is modified and the one that is full. You have a number of combinations. You even have shotguns that have rifling through it so as to fire slugs especially certain kind of slugs more effectively now is the case that in a shotgun like that one you have what's called a slugger barrel that's the shorter barrel that you see there and it has sights specifically because yes it is intended to fire slugs and therefore it's a cylinder choke shotgun I mean it has no choking it has no narrowing of those internal uh, diameters in the barrel now it comes with an extra barrel which as you see here in closer inspection you will find that it actually does say modified choke all right chamber for two and three inch shells that would be one of the cautions one of the precautions to keep in mind rather than bothering and worrying so much about uh, what kind of choke keep in mind that some of these older shotguns may fit a longer shell than it is rated for and that is very very dangerous that is the kind of thing that will blow up uh, a shotgun but as you see it says modified choke, all right? I don't know if you could see that there. Okay, there it goes. So modified choke is because this has been narrowing, narrows closer to the end. It's a fixed choke. It's not one of these tubes that come with a little wrench, so you can replace those, you can remove it, change it for something different. And there's even uh, small tubes with a little bit of rifling, depending on the ammunition that you're using, that can be beneficial. Now, the other question that I get quite a lot is, is it safe to fire a, a slug, a bullet, a single projectile in your shotgun with a full choke barrel? And usually the answer is, yeah, you probably don't want to do that, not because it's dangerous, which, you know, it's rarely the case, um, but because you're probably going to be losing a lot of accuracy. Most of these slugs are designed so as to fire, be fired through cylinder chokes. And best thing to do, check with the manufacturer, check with the ammunition that you're buying. In general, you will find that these are intended to be fired through um, uh, cylinder chokes or at best through an improvise. Uh, you probably don't want to fire through full choke barrels uh, again mostly because not because it's that dangerous you, you usually will find that most manufacturers do keep that in mind they will make it so that it is safe but you're probably gonna be deforming uh, a little bit too much or beyond the specs and you're gonna be losing accuracy when firing these things so you probably want to avoid firing these through a full choke barrel but keep in mind lead will deform you know it's softer than than steel so that should not be an issue but just keeping that in mind as of some of the extra or super full choke well that's probably something you you want to be a lot more careful about but with these usually not a problem whatsoever um, now keep in mind also there's different kinds uh, of ammunition especially with shotguns there's such a huge vari variety you have these uh, brenek kind of slugs 
have these ones that have a, a plastic uh, component, which of course will not be, I mean, the, the lead is not even making contact with, with a barrel, so it shouldn't have a problem uh, with that. And the box itself does not clarify or explain that it needs to be shot through one type of choke or the other. Again, usually when in doubt, slug or barrel will usually be a cylinder cho choke and it's going to be um, a, a gun intended for that. It's going to probably have uh, some kind of, of sights, iron sights, such as the ones you see uh, about there. So that's pretty much it. There's not a whole lot uh, that you have to worry about, but if, if possible, cylinder would be the way to go. In terms of what is it that you want uh, to achieve with the choking of a barrel? Well, it's bunching together all of those projectiles so as to have a smaller spread at further distances. When you have a cylinder choke, this will have the most amount of spread. It will not be something as dramatic as sometimes you see in Hollywood movies where you know it drops two or three people at the same time. Across the room, it's gonna be you know something you need to actually aim so as to hit your target. But it is true that 15, 20 yards away, you know, 25 yards away, the smaller the narrowing, the more of a close choke you have, the more of a concentrated pattern you have with those pellets, with that buckshot, with that ammunition that you're shooting with. But when it comes to single projectiles, probably that's the way to go. Folks, that's gonna be all for now. You have the channel full of information and for the practical use of firearms for survival and self-defense, three survival skills for the economic aspect of preparedness, you have Surviving the Economic Collapse, both available in Amazon, following those links there below. Take care.